Hello and welcome again to our YouTube channel. In today's video from the Photoshop Quick Tips and Tricks, we are going to see how to make an innovative poster card and send it to our loved ones. Maybe if you cannot reach a loved one with a flower, you can send him an innovative card that he will like and you will be proud of. And you will see how to make this in a simple, professional steps. Without any further, let me go directly to our uh, Photoshop. As usual, uh, as usual, I'm selecting 1000 by 1000 uh, frame, 72 pixels for the resolution because these are cards that I'm going to, uh, to send to, to my loved ones and I don't, not intending to set or to show my professionality in, in, in the resolution and in the details and so on, but I need to make the looking great. So, uh, I will start writing. I selected a, a little bit bigger uh, size of the writing and I will just click here and write love flowers. Okay, control enter and then V to, to select it. Uh, I like to uh, expand it a little bit in, in my working uh, space. And then to make sure that it is uh, in the right position, just I click enter again. And I'm ha having here on the top, uh, when I'm having on the select tool, on the move tool, I'm having the alignment uh, selections here on the top. Uh, if you don't see them, they are, uh, they are hidden or they are great. You can go here, you you are on the selection. Uh, so it's going to align based on the selection and we don't have any selection yet so just ch change this to canvas zero aligning uh, to the canvas I'll align it uh, vertical and horizontal and vertical so it's coming uh, in the middle uh, okay after that you have a lot of fonts uh, you, we return again to our type you have a lot of fonts uh, from uh, Photoshop uh, installed uh, by default. If you like any of them, you can keep it and we start working on it. If you don't like and you'd like to have more, to have more innovative fonts, for example, you click on, on this icon, uh, Creative Cloud icon. It will open to you your Creative Cloud uh, subscription. You need to log in with your uh, account. Okay. And then uh, you can have here some, some uh, selections. For example, that you need because you are making a poster card, you need some decorative uh, fonts. Okay, and uh, you can go along with it till you find someone, anyone that you will select, you will like the most. You have, you will find a wealth of uh, selections. Maybe because it is uh, the title of my postcard, I need also to be heading. So I need a decorative one and a heading one at the same time. Okay. Um, your limit is the sky. I'll, I'll select simple one. I'll select this one. When you click on it, you will have many options. You will have here a sample of the font. You will have here about the writer and you have here the usage. You are using for personal reason. Otherwise, you need to check if it is commercial, uh, available for commercial or not. And you will have the details uh, of the font and how uh, to use it. Okay, simply if you are here, if you click on activate font, you will find this font already uh, in your Photoshop. So it's called uh, Plenty Black. Okay, I will turn again uh, to my Photoshop and uh, I will select from here. Uh, I will look for the Plenty Black. It's here. Okay, and you can see the symbol of Creative Cloud to make sure that it is one of the installs from. Uh, creative Cloud. After you installed your font, maybe you like to resize uh, your text, for example. I will click on it again here. I will. I like to expand it a little more and to leave frames, side frames from here. Okay. Now I'm having uh, my my font as I like, but shall I leave it in, in this one? You have many options. You have you can add some artistic effects to it from the ones built in. Uh, in Photoshop, so if you click on FX here, you're having a wealth of uh, of textures that you can add or styles that you can add to your font. But I will give you a, a little bit more hint today is how to use one of your photos. No one of us has uh, didn't take a photo for flowers that he likes and 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 so on. So I'll uh, come and place. Uh, okay, just I need to make enter. Okay, and then I will file place embedded. Okay, I will select these flowers for example. Okay, I will expand it a little bit to cover all my photo, so I make sure that all my letters are covered. 
press enter then it is inserted from here I will add this one is adding a mask okay after adding a mask okay I click on the empty space here sorry I will select create clipping mask you can see now that the, my letters are painted or having the image of the flowers that I like so after that you can do whatever you like maybe uh, you like to uh, to add uh, in the background a color so we'll get add another layer to make it our background and we'll bring it to the very bottom so in effect we will add to it it will be behind our uh, love flowers uh, written letters uh, if you like to complete to continue with the innovation so I'm going to add another photo I selected here which is this one okay I don't like the the bricks part of it so I'll take it outside my screen and I'll extend it to the size to the sides I move it a little bit down so I make sure there's no pavement I need, don't need this tree at the, at the right side so it don't track the view and I'll go to the top like this one okay I press enter now it is placed I'm going to layer rasterize this layer okay and then I'm going to image trim okay now it is trimmed based on my set but I'm not leaving like this because it's extracting my letters so I will come to this layer and I'm still on this layer I'm going to add a filter player filter Gaussian player okay I will leave it as it is now you can see that uh, your letters are popping up if you like to increase the popping up of your letters so we are going to come to here add another filter to it why we are adding filters because uh, we like to uh, to have the effects separated from our text so we can change it easily or we can add multiple effects and I will add bevel and impose from here okay and how I change if I change the size you can see how it is changing I like to keep it a little bit only I don't like to keep it uh, too much and I'm going to add some uh, stroke I'll say stroke outside I've selected the white color you can change any like which will pop up your uh, your letters okay and like this you can see that you have a great poster flowers poster matching the springtime and you can send it to your loved ones even you cannot reach them with a flower I hope you like uh, the information we, sub, uh, we presented in this uh, in this video uh, like subscribe join our channel spread the information send your loved ones uh, greetings and uh, like our videos thank you very much for following so far